Hey guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a recent pickups video for you guys. It feels like ages since I did one. I know I say that every time I do one, but it really does feel like a long time. I've been in LA, I've been really busy this week, so I thought I would get on top of it. I still have more LA videos to come. I've been working on like the second part of my LA vlog. If you've not checked out any of my LA stuff, I've got videos and blog posts over on gallops.com and here on my YouTube channel, I will leave links in the description below. If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, then please do subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. And depending on when I put this live, I may or may not be in Croatia. If you have any recommendations or any tips about Croatia, then let me know. Or if you're from Croatia. But for now, let's get on with the pickups. Now the first piece I'm going to show you is why I wore in my style evolution video. Thank you so much for all the feedback on that. And a lot of people were asking about the hoodie I was wearing and it's from a brand called The Incorporated. It's like a blue velour kind of hoodie with a print on the back and on the front. I got it in a size large. I'm in love with this hoodie. I've worn it so much. The brand actually gifted it to me whilst I was out in LA. Put a link to this in the description below and it is 165 US dollars. Um, but it is so nice. These sleeves are awesome. The sleeves are really long and they kind of like plume at the cuff. You'll see when I'm wearing it and um, I'll show you what it looks like on. Now the second piece is from, I have quite a lot of stuff from the Fog Packs on the Back to School Drop. Follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen it on my Instagram or my blog already and you probably saw it in my pickup video over on Locust and Wild Honey. Because I'm fortunate enough to be friends with Paul from Locust and Wild Honey. He's such a nice guy and he actually um, picked some of the stuff up in LA for me before I arrived. But I also ordered some online myself which now I have doubles of and they're on my Depop because I don't need two of each one. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well so you can buy those that I've doubled up on. First piece is the boxy striped tee. This is the perfect striped t-shirt. I got it in a size medium um, and it fits really well because it's so oversized. So yeah, I'll show you what it looks like on. Next piece is also from the Fog Drop and it's the sleeveless flannel shirt. It's in the same colorway as the striped t-shirt which is awesome because you can like layer them together. I feel like everything fits together and that's what I love about these like Paxson collections. I got this in a large, it fits really well, it's great for layering and I just love the colors. I'll show you what it looks like on. Reminiscing about the summer When I heard that you were in town All the nights on it with thunder we were cut with the bit. Now the next piece is from the Fog Paxson drop again and it is the cream hoodie, um, half zip, which was a new introduction to this kind of drop, like they haven't done half zips before. So I really wanted one of these styles. Um, it has these side zips as well, but again it complements the rest of the collection, which is awesome. Yeah, I got this in a medium because um, it's quite oversized and I think this is a really good fit. It just feels really good quality and the material is nice and thick, so it's great for winter. And I'll show you what it looks like on. Your love is something more than pleasant Got my dreams and reality all mixed up the final piece from the Fog Packs and Drop that I got that I came home to, so when I got home I'd ordered these online and it is the track pants. Um, I thought these were a really good investment because they go with the hoodie that I already have so it's kind of like a full track suit which is awesome. But what I did notice was that the big difference between these and the first drop, the first drop I got the shorts and the shorts are elasticated at the waist and they're so stretchy whereas these trousers have like no, hardly any give on them at all. So they're not as stretchy as the first drop. So I got a medium, but in fact, I probably could have done with a large because there's just no give on them at all. It seems like there is here, but there's really not. <laughs> I'm a 32 inch waist, but I do love these. I think they look awesome. I will show you what they look like on. Now the next pieces are from NDG or Nidigap. I've only just received them, so I haven't really tried them on much yet, but I I love them from seeing them on the website anyway. Now, you know I love orange. I already have the, like kind of washed out orange um, hoodie from NDG, but this is a bright orange sweater and it's awesome. I love the color so much. I think this is the most colorful pickups I've done ever, like the blue hoodie, all the creams, and this sweater is awesome. I forgot the exact name of it, but I will leave a link in the description below. I'll show you what it looks like on. All this time you got me hung up. 
The second to last piece is also from Nib to Get and it is a kind of copper half zip but it's more of an outerwear piece rather than like just a hoodie. It's got a really nice detail of an inside pocket and it kind of has this gathering at the bottom and on the cuffs. Now the damage can be undone. Why you looking at me don't stare. So that brings me to the final piece in this recent pickups and it's been sat right behind me the whole time um, if you've had your eye on it. It is my new shearling jacket from Zara and it is so nice. It kind of looks like the Acne Studios jacket. If you do follow like luxury designers, Acne Studios do this shearling jacket which is around £2,000. I will leave a link to that in the description so you can see what that looks like. But this is really similar. It was £89.99 I think. The faux fur is really soft and this kind of faux leather is a really nice texture. It looks more luxurious than it actually is. I just think it's great and yeah it's from the women's section which I really don't care about. I will show you what it looks like on. I wish that shops would just have like a unisex section with stuff that can be worn by both genders. So that is it for my recent pickups. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. If you do like this kind of video don't forget to subscribe and um, thank you so much for watching. I know it was a long one, that was a lot of pieces, but I just wanted to catch up on myself and I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys, bye!